I was asked as a real estate investor, what are the top three books that you recommend that a new investor read to get started? I have four, and I wanna to talk to you about them quickly and let you know that I have read many of them, but I've also listened to them. Uh, I used to read a lot, and now I enjoy Audible and listening to my books. So number one, the book I'd start out with your you know, foundational materials is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now that book was written, I think, back in 1920, and I mean, there may have been some revisions over the years, but I'm telling you, there's something about a book that's close to 100 years old, or maybe it's over 100 years old now, that when you figure out that there is somebody 100 years ago that figured out the thought process and how what you think about is what you bring into your life, I, feel, I just feel like there's a lot of power in that because he proved a model long before it was trendy and long before it was talked about. He was so far ahead of his time and he's, he's ahead of this time even, but I would definitely recommend Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. It is not a book about you know sitting back and thinking and money just pops in your in your uh, your hand. I think about a dozen years ago or so there was a um, there was a, a movie that went around right that talked about uh, the secret. It was talking about thoughts, and although that was true, you can't just think; you have to act. But it really all starts up here, and we're real big believers in that. Amber and I are so again. Think and Grow Rich for Napoleon Hill is a is a powerful book to get you some really strong foundation. I love the fact that it's so old, yet all of the fundamentals still apply today. Forget social media, forget all the crap that we live with every day. The fun, the fundamentals is what I really try to focus on. So that's the number one book. The next book, if you're gonna be a real estate investor, I would definitely recommend some Robert Kiyosaki books. You know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you've never looked into Rich, Robert Kiyosaki, I'd look into him. And Rich Dad, Poor Dad is um, a great illustration of you know, he says how he was, he had a, his, his actual father was poor financially, but his best friend's father was rich. So he took a lot of advice from him and he gave a lot of advice on how rich people think and how they handle money, how they handle things differently. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he also has a book called Cash Flow Quadrant, another great book that he had. I'm gonna count that as one book, but anything with Robert Kiyosaki is the number two book that I'd highly strongly recommend. The third book I'd recommend is a book I read recently called Who Not How by Dan Sullivan. I'll say it again, Who Not How by Dan Sullivan. As entrepreneurs, we have all these ideas and we're always trying to put them together. And I, for a long time, thought I was a failure when I really, you know, I would get things off the ground, but I'd have a hard time getting them to get moving and kind of get momentum. I got things moving, but if they get to a certain level, they get stagnant. And I realized that my strength lies and that I have great ideas. And my strength lies, I have a great vision. I can see things down the road. What I didn't realize was it's okay to hire a who, to find somebody who can do it. You know, if you go back and think about uh, Walt Disney, forget what's going on with all that crap today with Disney, but, but think about what happened a long time ago when it first got started. Walt Disney was an amazing visionary. But do you know that Walt Disney never lived to see his dream come to reality? His brother Roy is the one that kept it together. If you ever get a chance to watch their story, it's, it's fascinating to me that Walt Disney had the vision, but Roy Disney had the wherewithal and the brains to put it together. And so uh, when Walt Disney would bounce checks, Roy would fix it, right? So Roy had no, Walt had no idea what was going on. But long after he passed, that dream became reality because Walt understood, I have to get the who not the how. So who not how was a powerful book that helped to, to say, listen, it's okay to have the right people around you. And now I wanna to talk to people that if you are somebody right now that is saying to yourself, that's all great, but I am stuck. I'm screwed up in my head and I'm stuck. Gary John Bishop is an author I suggest you look into. Gary John Bishop has a series of books, the Unf Yourself book. It's spelled out, it has an asterisk in there, right? So I won't say it here in case there's kids watching, but Unf Yourself. I've read that book, I bet you 15 times, and every time I get effed in the head, I start reading the Unf Yourself book, and it really brings it home. When I say read, again, I listen to it. He has a Scottish accent. I played on him on a 1.7 speed on Audible, and I love to hear Gary John Bishop talk about all the ways we get in our own head and how we have to unf ourselves. So if you are in that phase of life where you say to yourself, look at, I've got some head trash I wanna get rid of, it's a great relative book right now to help you get through that. And it's, you know, if you were looking for somebody to, to uh, make you feel good and make you feel like you're a snowflake, that's not the right book for you. But if you want a hardcore reality, someone that will come and come at you and talk to you and say, listen, you got some things going in your head, let's stop it and here's how you stop it, then that book has been very, very powerful for me. So 
how, how we land there. So we had number one, Napoleon Hill, They Can Grow Rich. Number two, Robert Kiyosaki with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Number three, Who, Not How. And last but not least, Gary John Bishop with Unf Yourself. Those are four books I would highly recommend to uh, helping you be successful on your journey. I hope that helps you today.